I'm with trainer Bodil Hallenkreutz, who's a new face for us here in Dubai, and she's got Let's Go For It, who lines up in the Dubawi Stakes on Thursday. Welcome to Dubai. Thank you how very are much. We, how are we looking after you so far? Are you enjoying it? I enjoy it very much. It's a marvelous stay, and the uh, stable is great, and uh, the track is great. And I have got a nice boy with me from Brazil who looks after and rides him. Excellent. And Let's Go For It, you've been telling me, is, is the highest handicapped horse in in Sweden, so it must be lovely to be able to, to try him somewhere else. Yes, but he's a difficult horse and I haven't tried him before because of that. But now I said he's getting older and we tried to buy him. Mm. And he's won his last three starts, I think, in, in Sweden, so he comes here in, in great form. Yes, he has and uh, he's never been out riding, so he's, he's nice. But he's have difficulties, problem with the stalls and uh, there is problems. Mm. And your jockey, Oliver Wilson, comes over to ride him. Can you tell us a little bit about him? He's not a jockey we know too much about. No, him. he's a young jockey. His mother was a trainer and his father from England. And he's riding him all the time. And because he's so difficult with the stores, I was afraid that if I took a professional jockey here, they could get afraid. Mm -hmm. But uh, Oliver, this is his chance, so he won't be afraid. He knows the horse. That's good. And you say he's a little bit difficult. Is it just the stalls or can he be a bit tricky to ride in, in a race? Not in the race, but he can be sticky in the stalls. He can go up in the air and he can go out and he can do a lot of things. And where do you think he'll be placed in, in the race? Is he a horse who goes from the front or does he sort of close late? I and uh, Oliver discussed this yesterday and if it's a if he can, he will be free for that everybody wants and then on the straight he go. Mm. He used to go. He, he never go in front. He likes uh, three, four, and has a very lovely speed. He's rated 109 going into this. Do you feel mm. that's uh, an accurate sort of assessment of, of where he is? We'll see tomorrow. He's uh, 97 in Sweden. That's quite a lot. So, mm. Mm. and from what you've seen of him in Sweden, for what you know of him down the years, do you feel he's good enough to win a race like this, a listed race here? And it depends how the other horses are. Yes, he is, that's why we're coming. But I mean, uh, there is very good horses in this race who is rated higher than him and who has won here an old horse that won last year, I think. Mm. That would be very good and there are one other two. So I will be happy in a good place too. <laughs> Reynaldo the wizard, I think that the horse you mean. But your horse, you're confident he's very fit. It's not too long since he, he last raced. So he should be perhaps fitter than some of the others. I hope. <laughs> I hope, I hope, I think he's fit, yes, I think, yeah. And he love it here, he really love it here. He used to be tricky going up to the, to the dirt and going, but here he goes like a king, he goes all the way and he, no, he doesn't need a company here. In Sweden he does. Okay, that's interesting. And mm. dirt is very much his, his, yes. his track? Yes, we tried on turf and it was no good. Right. There's more race on turf, but uh, so that's why we're going here. I think the, here and the, and uh, the state are the only good uh, places. Regarding your setup at home, you're telling me you've got around 20 horses. Is this the best horse you've ever been involved with? Yes, it's the best horse. I never had that good horse before. I, the other one is good too. I have one. Uh, it's good, good horses, but uh, not the same. Mm. And what would it mean if he could perhaps surprise a few people and, and win on Thursday night? It would mean a lot, and I think it means a lot for Sweden too because uh, they are following him and he has a lot of supporters at home. 